Naam karibu tena mtazamaji. Maonyesho ya kilimo imeanza rasmi hii leo kwenye kaunti ya Nakuru huku mbinu mpya za kilimo na teknolojia zikitarajiwa kuonyeshwa kwenye mauhafla hiyo. Yeah, I would like to say good morning to everybody. Today is a wonderful day as you can see. It's the first day of our show on third lasting up to 7th and uh, it seems the day has started quite well. People are already feel piling at the gates. Our exhibitors are in place and um, I think everything is ready so far. Uh, today being the first day, our first guest is the regional commissioner and together with the CEC uh, Nakuru County, Madam Immaculate. Yeah. Yeah, this year we have got very many people on board, very many interesting uh, exhibitors who are actually exhibiting, their, displaying their innovations and technologies. And I think the Nakuru show goers have got a lot to see and to learn more than last year. Yeah, last year we had about 120 exhibitors, but now we have got over 150. Na tukibuka hadi bometi ni kwamba wakulima katika kaunti hiyo wameshauriwa kujihusisha na ukulima wa parachichi msimu huu wa mvua. Wakulima kutoka bometi ya kati tayari wamepokea zaidi ya miche elf nane kutoka kwa serikali kuu kama njia moja ya kuimarisha ajenda kuu nne za serikali ya jubili. Uh, especially the area which is very bad is, is konoin. Konoin are lying only in, in tea and tea is not doing very well also so this is a very good uh, uh, alternative to to tea kwa hivyo nataka kushukuru wa wakulima wa bomet wale ambao watafaidika kwa kupanda miche elfu moja na mia tano ya avocado sa hapa uh, wafanye hayo hiyo kazi ili wapate nguvu ya kuwa empowered na wapate pesa kwa mfuko yao hiyo uh, ndio naona watu wetu waendelee kufanya hivyo uh, other areas uh, which are not very ideal for avocado kama kama bometist na chepalungu wao wanafaidika kwa mambo ya ya maziwa na vile vile tunataka pia hao wafaidike kwa upande ya asali wafuge nyuki ndio wapate asali tumeweza kununua mimea elfu nane ambayo itaweza kusaidia wakulima wetu elfu moja mia tano serikali imeweka pesa mingi kwa hii miradi ya kununua ya avocado tumeweka pesa milioni tatu Tuku, uh, the president because uh, uh, under the big four agenda there is an agreement he signed with china and we are very sure there is market for these avocados Na mtazamaji tukivuka viwanjani ni kwamba sasa ni bayana kwamba timu ya taifa Harambe Stars imebanduliwa kwenye michuano ya kuania ubingwa wa bara Afrika kule Misri baada ya timu ya Benin kutoka sara ya tasa dhidi ya Kamerun huku Ghana wakilaza gini bisao mabao mawili kwa nonge. Harambe Stars wanatarajiwa kuwasili nchini muda wote kuanzia sasa. Na tukivuka hadi Brazil ni kwamba wenyeji Brazil wamebandua Argentina kwenye michuano ya Copa America kwa kichapo cha mabao mawili kwa sufuri. Mwanasporti Peter Olo ametuandalia mengi viwanjani. Mechi ya mwisho ya kundi fa baina ya Ghana na Guinea Bissau ilitamatika kwa faida ya Black Stars ambao walihitaji ushindi ili kufuzu mechi za mchujo za timu 16 bora. Mabao mawili kutoka kwa Jordan Ayew na Thomas Party yalikuwa tosha kuwa alama tatu kwenye mechi hiyo iliyowafanya kumaliza wa kwanza kundini na alama tano. Mechi... nyingine baina Benin na Cameroon ilitamatika kwa sare tasa. Na ndoto ya Rambe Stars kufuzu katika raundi ya pili ya kipute cha Afcon imedidimia baada ya mechi kati ya Benin na Cameroon kuishia kwa sare tasa. Kenya walikuwa katika hali tete huku hatma yao ikitegemea ushindi wa mechi za kundi A na FA ili kufuzu mechi za mchujo. 
Matokeo ya mechi hii iliweka Kenya katika nafasi ya tano na kukosa tiketi miongoni mwa timu tatu bora kushiriki mechi za timu 16 bora. Na kwingineko mechi baina ya Brazil na Argentina ilikamilika kwa mabao mawili huku wenyeji wakitoa ushindi na kufuzu kushiriki mashindano ya Copa America. Brazil walicheka na nyavu mara mbili kupitia Roberto Firmino na Gabriel Jesus. Alves lam yamut wal kura wal hadaf al awal wahad safar an tariq Gabish mazal Alves yadrab mazal Alves ma matash mazal walaza wapinzani wao na kudidimiza matumaini ya timu ya Lionel Messi toa taji hilo. Nikiripotia Pendo TV michezo ni iliyopita. mtazamaji basi kufikia hapo sina la ziada ila kutamatisha shajara yetu ya Pendo TV awamu ikiwa ni ya saa moja lakini itakapo timu mwendo wa saa tatu utakuta naye Dickson Andati ambaye atazidi kufahamisha mengi ambayo atakuwa amejiri jina langu ni Donix Kivaya tukutane hapo kesho panapo majaliwa